Hello and welcome back to my nostalgic Minecraft series here in Minecraft version 1.8.3. My name is Paul Luck and today we're going to be heading into the nether and doing a little bit of exploring uh, in order to, um, I mean I've already located what we're going to go looking for, but we actually just need to go get there and that is to find um, one of the, quiet you, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, ocean monuments. Um, we will also end up seeing some other interesting stuff, which is pretty nifty. Um, so I've already mapped out the route we need to take to get there, at least in my mind's eye. Um, so I know roughly where I'm going. Um, I'm only in the nether because it is so far away. Um, and I've taken a wrong turn already. I need to be down there. Oh well. No, I haven't. I meant to be using this little path. I didn't make this little path. Um, one of my friends did. Uh, it just so happens to go in generally the direction I want to go. Now this uh, never portal here, um, you've not seen it before on camera I don't think, but uh, it is not the one we want to go for, it's not actually built the one we want to go for yet, just have to carefully navigate out this way, not looking down, and oh Christ, let's get away from him, and just have to go down here, turn right, turn left again, to here, where just off camera, I've recorded myself digging out the space for a never portal, which we shall now light. Now, let's just dig that out a little bit more, swap those out. Uh, actually, let's swap it out for my already used pick and jump in the portal. And I think I know where we should pop out, I've not actually checked. This is exactly where I wanted us to pop out. So as you can see here, we are in, I don't think a biome that I've actually shown you naturally before, or at all, quite possibly. But here we have a, uh, a, mo a mushroom island, or a mushroom island, primarily populated with these things here, mushrooms. Mm. Now they're just cows with mushrooms on. You can shear them and they will give you... Um... Now that is an interesting sound. It's not something we've seen before, but it's half the reason we're here. And it is those guardians over there, which are a new mob you've not seen before, at killing things. I imagine squid. Lots and lots of squid. So that is an ocean monument. And this is going to be our little temporary forward operating base um, for our efforts in tackling the obnoxiously loud um, ocean monument. Now, they, the Guardians are actually getting quite close to me out here. They definitely have an advantage uh, in the water, given they are fish. See, he's just trying to kill that squid there, I think. That's... Let's hop in and have a, a look. Let's get somewhat close. Ooh. See, that, that's how they attack. They, like, line onto line of sight with you, and then they have a, a build-up. And then it deals damage. So I killed him, got some experience. So they're reasonably easy to kill. But there are bigger ones, and they appear to give you quite a, a big chunk of knockback. See, he's going to attack me there. Only do dealt half a heart, but you know, when they build up. Okay, so I'm now out of the water, but he can still attack. But I can break line of sight and I'm fine. 
We did have that big uh, Elder Guardian thing. I think that's what they're called. Pop up on my screen. Oh, I've got mining fatigue. They give you mi five minutes of mining fatigue. And it's mining fatigue free as well, so I basically can't break anything. Maybe I should start milking the cows. Because at least that way... I can, I think milk clears all potion effects. I'm going to build a giant cobblestone bridge. Go away. Now we are quite low on wood, and there is no wood that naturally generates in the Mushroom Island biome, so I might have to swim out to the trees over there. At least here we do have the advantage that hostile mobs don't spawn on the Mushroom Islands. Um, so let me just see if I can get some milk. And does it clear my mining fatigue? It does. Milk is valuable to have. Noted. Okay, so that's good. So that's one thing we can do to make it easier for us to uh, conquer. Now, I'm going to want to get some more blocks, aren't I? Now that I don't have mining fatigue, I'm just going to dig down here. Now when you mine the, I think it's called mycelium, uh, it turns into just regular dirt. Now let's gather up some of these blocks. Ooh, some coal. I mean, we're not short of coal, but you know, nice to have. What I'd really like to find would be some iron. Um, <laughs> that is not scripted, I swear. So that I can make some more buckets for some more milk. I did bring um, a couple of furnaces, which was good. Thinking ahead. I was actually thinking of drying the sponge that you can find in there. But, uh, I wish I, I just wouldn't be subjected to listening to the murderous uh, rampage of all the guardians. It's moderately disturbing. What's that noise? Okay, right. Let's place this down here. And smelt our iron ore. Cool. So... We now have a land link to the um, the ocean temple, ocean monument, I think they're called. Very good. All right, nine. Will let us make um, some buckets, but we need some wood to make a crafting table, which I didn't bring, nor a boat. I'm very clever. Cool, right. So it, it looks like um, we just, we'll go this way and we'll see what we can find on this end of the island chain. Okay, we've made landfall. 
There's more skeletons around, so I need to be careful. But I'm going to get straight to chopping a tree. Now, one thing I don't really think I've mentioned about the jungles before is they do have all this, like, ground foliage. It's not just, like, massively tall trees. There's often, like, one block of log on the ground surrounded by it. Uh, basically, it's a bush. It's what it boils down to. And you do also get uh, oak trees growing in, in the jungles as well, like I've just put down there. Surely not. You cannot be close enough. Because that is, that is the sound of a guardian. They are a long way away. That has to be an audio glitch. Because that is not right. Not at all right. That one as well. It's basically clear cut the, uh, this part of the jungle. That is obnoxiously loud. And I don't even think the chunk with the temple in it is loaded so there is no way that, that that should be doing what it's doing I'm just going to take some of the undergrowth make it easier to walk around I suppose so I'm going to make it easy and make a a boat for the way back Let's take that with me. Okay. Now, it probably will get a little bit louder as we sail around. Because we are going to be sailing quite close to the Guardians. He's managed to get all the way down. There's another one. Now, that's even easier to get to. Okay, they weren't out of visual range. It's just not the one I'd uh, I'd actually picked. Now that must be really unusual having two ocean monuments spawn so close to each other. Because they are literally on top of each other. I think that one's probably actually the easier one to get. But I'm going to come over here and grab my... My, um, well, I'm going to make all my buckets. Cool, plenty of milk buckets. Let's make some more torches. Big bunch. Now I've got these doors on me. Uh, these are actually birch doors. You've not actually seen them before. Um, let's, make it, let's just leave this crafting bench here. We might as well scatter some around. Now, uh, I've made these doors because they can create an air pocket underwater. Which will enable me to, um, like, breathe. I do have an aqua affinity helmet, which should help extending my uh, underwater breathing time. Which I think is pretty damn nifty. Alright, there's the mining fatigue, which I can get rid of. Cool, right, he's trying to attack me. Money fatigue again. Okay. Interesting. And my boat's drifted off. Now I don't really know how to go about dealing with this. Oh yeah, I can't really break things, can I? So how do I how do I get in? Okay, so I've, I've worked out how to stop them targeting me. And it is just break line of sight. Which is easy enough. Hmm. I'm very nervous. I've not, never actually done this before. Okay. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to drink some milk and try and break him through the roof.
Oh Christ, what are you? This must be the Elder Guardian. Killed him. Oh, it's drowning. Ugh. Need to heal. A, a new dose of mining fatigue? Yep, okay. That must mean that there's more than one Elder Guardian, I think. I think that's how that works. But I got some stuff. Prismarine Shard and Prismarine. That's new to me. I'm just going to wait until I heal up because I took quite a lot of damage there. Press. Okay, Mining Fatigue is back. So we are as good as uh, stuck for a little bit. Unless I just want to drink some more milk. Do some more blocks. What do we do with some more blocks? Hmm. No idea what's down here. What's that? Prismarine. Okay. Okay, right. Mining fatigue is back. And I have no milk left. So I think this is probably as good a time as any to uh Let's kill this lad here. See if I can work out how I got in. I need to put a torch down because I really can't see. Well, there's plenty of light in here. Oh, it's because of that prismarine lantern. Now, how did I get in? Through here. I'm going to go out through here again. See if I can mount back up on my bit here. Now I need a lot more milk. I've learnt a lot. But I'm going to end this episode here. I'm unprepared. But yeah, we're going to use... Once we've finished on this one, we're going to use all of the experience in the future to raid the other one, because it means there'll be loads of extra materials, uh, especially like the sponge room, because I think each temple has just one sponge room. Um, so that's twice the sponge for us. So I'm going to end this episode here and we're going to try and tackle and finish off that temple in the next episode. So uh, if you liked the video, please do hit the like button. If you didn't, you can always hit the dislike button, but please do tell me why you didn't like it. Uh, if you have any suggestions or things you'd like to see me do, please leave a comment down below. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And uh, so that YouTube remembers to notify you, you can always hit the bell icon as well. So lastly from me, thank you very much and goodbye.